It was the mystery that puzzled engineers, frightened drivers, and dealt a body blow to the first-rate reputation of Toyota. And tonight, car owners and the automaker are breathing a sigh of relief. Government safety investigators, with help from NASA scientists, have concluded there was no evidence flaws in the Toyota electronic system made the cars accelerate. So what did happen? Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, broke the Toyota story more than a year ago, and he brings us the latest findings tonight. Brian? Well, Diane, it was some very good news for Toyota after a year in which they had to recall more than 8 million cars for safety defects, led to dozens of deaths and thousands of accidents. The problem of runaway Toyotas first emerged a year and a half ago. Our accelerator's stuck. We're in trouble. We can't. Well, there's no brakes. When four people died after a California driver could not stop his Lexus, with a passenger calling 911 for help. We're approaching the intersection. We're approaching the intersection. Hold on, please. What followed was a wave of reports of runaway Toyotas, with speculation about the electronic acceleration system as a cause. Today, Transportation Secretary Raymond LaHood said flatly that was not the cause. The jury is back. The verdict is in. There is no electronic-based cause for unintended high-speed acceleration in Toyotas. LaHood said his conclusion was based on a 10-month investigation of nine separate Toyotas conducted by NASA scientists. The scientists found the cause of all of the runaway Toyotas was limited to two specific non-electronic problems with the car. Some Toyota floor mats entrapped driver's gas pedal while their vehicles were in motion. Toyota had to recall more than five million cars because of that problem. Second, so-called sticky pedals made some Toyota acceleration too slow to release. It just took off. It seemed like the more I, I hit the brake, the harder it wanted to accelerate. Toyota only admitted to the sticky pedal problem in the U.S. after ABC News reported on the case of this New Jersey driver whose car would not stop. Toyota was then fined $16.4 million, a record amount, for failing to disclose the sticky pedal problem in a timely way. So, Brian, what happens to all those lawsuits now? Well, Diane, even with today's findings, Toyota, once famed for its focus on quality, still faces a battery of lawsuits with potential damages in the billions of dollars. Even so, today's findings, Diane, were good news for Toyota, which said it welcomed the findings and hoped it would put an end to what it called unjustified speculation and restore confidence in this Toyota and Lexus models. And again, NASA scientists called in to help. Thank you, Brian Ross.